most newcomers who want to work in IT choose software testing as a stepping stone. Even if you intend to move on software development later in your career, it is always a good idea to begin as a software tester. The reason for this is the extensive learning experience you can gain while working for this role in an earlier stage of your career. Well, not only that, what if I tell you that you don't require any technical computer education to get into the field as beginner. Yeah, that sounds nuts, right? But it isn't. By now, you must have had testing experience of your own. Yes, I'm sure you have encountered some errors in the products you use. That's the basics of testing, finding errors on products and reproducing them. And today, with this video, we are going to understand how you can get into this job role without breaking much sweat and without any real-time job experience on the back. But before we begin with that, make sure you guys subscribe to our IntelliPath YouTube channel and enable that bell icon as well so that you never miss any update coming from our YouTube channel. We'll begin this session by understanding what exactly we mean by software testing and what sort of job prospect it has in offer. Once we understand the career scenario, we shall dive further and understand a roadmap to get a software testing job without any sort of experience. I hope I have made myself clear with the agenda. So without any ado, let's get started with the first topic of this session that is what is software testing? Picture this. We have a company named as XYZ over here and it has been working hard on its software product for almost 2 years. The release of the first version is approaching quickly and it's destined to happen this week. The whole team is quite excited but at the same time the stakes are high so people are nervous as well. However, they are also confident in quality of their work since they have powered their brains into it for almost 2 years now. The big release week is ongoing now and it's terrible. Sure, the application looks great and its features are fantastic. However, the app is riddled with embarrassing bugs. Bugs that are irritating users and the same is being reflected in unforgiving user reviews. Now, how this company XYZ would have dodged a bullet of embarrassing bugs? Well, the answer is pretty easy. Software testing. As the adage goes, to err is human. Remember that no matter how much of a perfectionist you are, we are all bound to make mistakes. And that totally prevails in software development. Different people from different teams collaborate in order to design a single product that gives room for miscommunication, faulty validations, vague outputs or predictions. And thus, software testing is quite crucial. Besides that, in the beginning of software development lifecycle, every organization plans an end goal that comes with its own set of expectations. For some businesses, success is indicated by a high frequency of real outcomes matching expected results. But before reaching their end goal, every firm has to face the consequences of human error. No enterprise can use manual error as an excuse for delivering a compromised product. To ensure a high quality product, there has to be something in place to pick out errors. And rigorous product testing only stands out as an essential solution to this problem. Actually, if I have to define this process in simpler terms, then I would say Software testing is the process of finding errors in a developed product. It checks whether the real outcomes can match expected results as well as aids in the identification of defects, missing requirements or gaps. Testing is basically a penultimate step before the launch of product. It includes examinations, analysis, observation and evaluation of different aspects of products. After conducting these tests, testers report the result to development team, after which this development team goes back to the journey of removing those faults in the product. Ultimately, the end goal of testing is to check the product rigorously so that the customer will get a quality product. This very reason makes software testing a great deal. Now that we have built some gist for the term software testing, I think it's time we move on further and discuss the career prospect it has in offer. 
basically software testing jobs can be categorized into three different sections sections such as entry level test analyst and senior analyst after that comes software test lead or manager let's talk about them one after another first up is entry level most people begin their software testing journey at an entry level actually you are not required to have any specific degree to get into this role however the people with bachelor degree in computers are most preferred by employers the primary objective for junior level positions is to familiarize candidates with the testing process no matter how good the education is there is nothing that can prepare candidates for how things work in practice over theory the entry level job can be seen as junior software tester these testers primarily focus on executing basic established tests on software typically this means running tests that have been developed for specific stages of the product for example all of the functionality of the software must be tested prior to its release even for areas that should not have been affected by the changes entry level positions typically run these tests because there is low risk that there will be critical bugs that will push the release date back many of their regular task will be to work with automated testing instruments to ensure they run through from the start to finish then report if any bugs were encountered during the automated test they'll also learn about the bug tracking software and how to properly document defects they find depending on their education and experience entry level testers may be paired with a test analyst to learn more in depth testing procedures over time they learn to work with testing analyst and developers to write test plans test new functionality and if they are interested start learning some of the basics behind programming actually this position can serve as a bridge to becoming a developer as well because typically it helps engineers if testers can identify what part of the code is real problem software testers with the ability to help troubleshoot code and solve problems become indispensable relatively within software companies basically if i had to talk about salary then for this entry level role it ranges between 2.7 to 5.2 lpa in india whereas in the usa it lies between 48000 us dollars to 63000 us dollars now the next thing we have is test analyst and senior test analyst to be qualified as test analyst companies need you to have at least some testing background if i have to talk in terms of numbers then at least you should have 3 years of experience analyst work on more complex less established programs and functionalities they are frequently requested to attend meetings with the engineering staff once development has started so that they understand the purpose of the changes new functionalities and future directions professionals in these roles work closely with developers frequently testing software at different stages to ensure there are no major bugs created during the process their work is largely manual meaning they create the test plan for each new updated and depreciated change mentoring of junior level testers is yet another task that piles up to the test analyst or senior test analyst job description if i had to talk about salary then for this particular roles salary ranges between 70000 to 93000 us dollars in usa whereas in india these professionals could earn in the range of 4.4 lakh rupees to 10.5 lakh rupees finally we have software test lead or manager experience is essentially the only thing companies look at for this position to give you an example roughly 2/3 of all software test managers in the us were only hired after they had reached 10 years of experience this is primarily because of how much a manager needs to know to properly run the department now many times companies also have test lead positions which can be a stepping stone to becoming a manager a test lead provides the same service for a single group instead of an entire department in many companies there is only a manager so we have combined these two for simplicity's sake since these are high level positions the salaries are also comparatively more lucrative than the previous two levels 
they range between 10 lakh rupees to 30 lakh rupees in india whereas 80000 us dollars to 170000 us dollars in united states of america i hope these payrolls are clear to all of you guys now moving forward let me tell you the secret roadmap to get a software testing job without any experience the first thing you need to bring into yourself is passion for testing why do you want to do a testing job this is probably the most commonly asked questions across all testing interviews only candidates who are passionate about this field and want to advance as a quality tester are hired for the best jobs on the market anyone can be trained but only those with a genuine interest in this field will be able to make a name for themselves so get to know the basic idea of software testing and quality assurance develop an interest in it you'll only be able to survive in your software testing job when you have real interest and passion about it otherwise testing will become a burden and you'll eventually lose performance and efficiency hence if you wish to get into this field building an interest is quite important the second step you should take is study software testing basics as a software tester you'd be spending most of the time trying to break the software hence it's quite important to develop an excellent aptitude and analytical skills coupled with knowledge of testing methodologies you'll be astonished at how much information you learn from reading a book or online resources but just knowing theoretical jargon is not enough you need rigorous practice as well and that's where these online resources will fail they won't give you the structured approach or the hands on practice that you need and it is quite crucial if you want to become an employable software testing professional this is where the specialized software testing program or course can prove a magnificent asset for you guys let me tell you that intellipart does provide one state of the art certification that is designed to help you master the art of overall software testing including both manual and automation testing and since it comes along with job guarantee services i think it can definitely act as a stepping stone to get you into the field of software testing so make sure to visit the website and start exploring that being said let's talk about the next step that is practicing learned software testing skills now all of us do use software testing applications from website to apps on our phones or games on your gaming console guess what if you have encountered errors on any of these products and can reproduce them then you have some testing experience definitely many entry level software testing projects mostly require product knowledge from a customer point of view to be in a position to start a testing job you may only need to learn some of the basics and gain a little experience to add to your curriculum attention to detail is an important ability in software testing start practicing it with your daily routines start paying more attention to details on applications and products you already use on a daily basis when you find something wrong try to find out how it happened is it easy to replicate what are the steps to reproduce the error and is it error or something that should be improved to make the product better asking all of these questions and formulating documentation for the same is what will make you a better tester so make sure you put maximum efforts to do that the fourth step you guys should take is choosing your own software testing niche have you heard the saying jack of all trades but master of none well these days especially in the it field you need to specialize and not generalize niches in testing are basically inspired from the different types of testing available Here are some of the most popular niches you can choose from. The first one is manual testing. In this method, a tester has to mimic the role of an end user. The end user is the one who will actually using the software product. In this process, the tester has to use all of the software features manually to find if there is any bug in it. Second one is automation testing. In automation testing, a tester has to validate the features of the software by writing script that automate the test activities it saves a lot of time because it does not require manual effort this is often the most cost effective way of testing software over a long term 
Then the third up is performance testing. In this method of testing, the software is tested against a specific workload. Some of the metrics that will be evaluated are responsiveness, maximum load, capacity, etc. That brings us to the next step that is develop testing project worth highlighting on your portfolio. This is one of the most crucial thing that you could do to gather the attention of a recruiter. Remember, just finding out bugs is not going to be enough. Documenting them in formal language and communicating the same to developer team is equally important. Hence, it is critical that you practice finding bugs and documenting them. You can use platforms such as Utest to find out testing project. It basically is a freelancing platform designed just for testers and is ultimately a great place to start. It has vast tester community and many learning resources and it's totally capable of getting you started with software testing. Initially, you can start with an unpaid project to find bugs and get a feel for your skill level. Then you'll begin receiving paid projects to sign up for where you'll get paid for bugs that you find. Moreover, highlighting this work in your resume alongside project links will increase your credibility in the eyes of recruiter instantly. Next step we have is develop resume along with cover letter and surface it across multitude of companies. Now that you have the skills, expertise and projects, it's time to create a professional resume. A good resume will help you stand out from the competition. We advise you to highlight your experience and internship clearly. Once done with resume formatting, make sure you do a quick proofreading before sending it along with a cover letter. You can upload your resume to multitude of job portals and LinkedIn to get noticed. Once you do that, it's time to start applying to multiple job opportunities available on these platforms. Ultimately, you'll end up receiving the communication from recruiters end. And that brings us to the last step, that is approaching interview with confidence. Since you are a fresher, there won't be many expectations from you. Just be confident, revise the basic testing concepts and speak without any hesitation in the interview. Be true to yourself. Don't add fake things to your resume. You should be able to speak about the things that you have written in your resume. Read on web about interview experience of software testers who have joined companies as a fresher. This will help you visualize how your interview is going to be. I hope these steps will help you plan your journey of becoming a software tester. That's all we have for this video. I hope this video was informative for all of you guys out there willing to enter into the field of software testing. Thank you for being here till the end of this video. If you have liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also don't forget to enable subscribe button to never miss any upcoming tech update from IntelliPath YouTube channel. Let me tell you that IntelliPath does provide one state of the art certification that is designed to help you master the art of overall software testing including both manual and automation testing. And since it comes along with job guarantee services, I think it can definitely act as a stepping stone to get you into the field of software testing. So make sure to visit the website and start exploring.